Rage Fire Chasm, a group of orcs known as the Burning Blade, found right beneath Orgrimmar because they continue to have many sympathisers in the city. They are the only clan that still serve the Shadow Council, the remnants of the old Horde warlocks who themselves remain loyal to the Burning Legion. Why do we want them dead? The Burning Legion wants a foothold on Azeroth to prepare for its ceaseless invasion attempts. And even if it's in Orgrimmar, I think that worries even the Alliance. Wailing Caverns, a group of Sonoran Circle Druids led by Naralex, sought to bring life to the Barns, which was, well, Barn. Naralex delved into the Emerald Dream to draw upon its Druic power and bring new life, which he did very successful. But the Emerald Nightmare was already spreading across the Dream and ensired him, turning his verdant paradise into a poisoned, dangerous place. Why do we want them dead? To stop the horrors that Naralex is still generating. The Dead Mines, an organisation known to the Stonemasons Guild, led by Vincent Van Cleef, had agreed to rebuild Stormwind City after its destruction in the First War without pay on the condition that they would receive their reward after Stormwind was rebuilt and prosperous, under the corrupt rule of Lady Prester and the Council of Nobles. Payment was withheld and the disconnected Stonemasons Guild, combined with the discontented farmers from the harsh land of Westfall, became the founding core of the Defias. If they weren't going to be given their pay, then they would take it instead. Why do we want them dead? Because they want us dead. If your alliance... Otherwise, use your imagination, just like Blizzard did when trying to write the nonsensical Kata era dungeon quests. Shadowfang Keep. This one is odd in that it's very self-contained. Nothing beyond Shadowfang really shares an alliance or faction with it, but it has a nice story at least. As the undead threaten to destroy all of humankind, a desperate Kirin Tor mage named Argal decided to call upon the same forbidden power Alun had previously bestowed under others. This curse gives great power, at the cost of turning those it empowers into feral beasts, the Worgen. At first effective reinforcements against the undead, the Worgen soon turned on the humans, as they saw no difference, just the hunt. They besieged Shadowfang Keep and Priorwood Village, slaughtering the Keep's defenders, driven mad by the guilt of what they had done. Aragal found solace in protecting the only thing he had left to protect, the Worgen. Why do we want them dead? Because the Worgen are vicious, mindless animals. At least these Worgen are. No offence, Gilness, who slaughter everything with no concepts of Argyll's original mission. The Stockade. Fairly self-explanatory since it's just Stormwind's jail. In classic, it mostly contains defias allied rebels. While in retail, they changed it to its more electric mix of defias, gnolls and elementals the three major threats to Kingdom of Stormwind's homelands, as of Cataclysm. Why do we want them dead? We don't normally execute people in their cells. That's like a war crime. But their rioting has gotten deadly. If you're Alliance, otherwise use your imagination. Why are you in Stormwind? Black Fathom Deeps, run by the Twilight Hammer, old god-worshipping cultists. In this case, they worship Akumai, since he is particularly powerful servant of the old gods. It's never really been revealed which old god Akumai is related to, but the water theme and his later change from Hydra model to his new model, which we've otherwise only seen associated with Naga, seems to imply Zoth, our current big baddie. Why do we want them dead? We don't need more old god servants getting summoned up. Gnome Regan, the power-hungry gnome mechaneer buttplug, was losing his civil war against his rival, High Tinker Mechatorki and decided that if he could not rule their city, then he would rule their ruins rather than lose. He allowed the trogs through the city defences, and unleashed a radioactive plague upon the city. Most of the remaining leper gnomes aren't necessarily Thermoplug's army, per se. However, many of them don't seem to have any idea what's going on, and often mistake adventurers for trogs. Why do we want them dead? They stole our city. If you're Alliance... Otherwise, use your imagination. This is your second trip in just 10 levels to an Alliance capital to help the Alliance out. Woohoo! Razor Friend Crawl. Razor Friend Downs. Razor Friend Crawl is the traditional capital of the Quillbors, while Razor Friend Downs is the half of their society that has fallen to the scourge, who promised to return their homelands that the orcs had taken in exchange for their service. 
There seems to be significant tension and perhaps even hostilities between the two sides. So they aren't necessarily just two sides of the same society. Although the High Crone's recent decision to finally agree to the Scourge's terms seems set to reunite the Quillbores once again. That is before the High Crone and the Coalbringer both get whacked by adventurers anyway and put a nip in the bud. Why do we want them dead? Great. The Scourge in Kalimdor too. Pass. Scarlet Monastery. The Scarlet Crusade broke away from the Silver Hand, not out of protest for the Silver Hand focusing on the Scourge and not bothering the Forsaken as many think, but in their original story rather out of protest for the Silver Hand accepting members of even the more conventional living horde races. The Silver Hand aren't just anti-dead, they are pro-human ultra-racist, since they do have some undead among their numbers, like the Torturer, but no orcs. It's safe to say they might be more racist than are anti-dead at this point. They want to purge the world of anything that isn't human. Why do we want them dead? Racist, bad. Murder of innocents, bad. Still feels like we should have checked off Kalthazad before we worried about them though. I mean, if we killed them all, didn't we just hand the dead some shiny new corpses? Alderman, an ancient titan complex where the dwarves slumbered for tens of thousands of years after the titans departed before finally reawakening to the world. Only for the dwarves to, tens of thousands of years later, forget their birthplace too. Two major events happened during their slumber. The two non-titan trees of life, Troll, Elf, came to dominate the world in succession, and the old god's curse of flesh seeped into them, turning their chiselled stone forms into soft, flabby flesh, and for some even worse, into the trogs, those most mutated by the curse of flesh, a final F you on the way out from the old gods. Why do we want them dead? Treasure. Seems like a shitty reason to kill our forefathers. Zulfarak, the Sam Fury trolls, like their brethren in Zul Grub and Zul Aman, have fallen from grace and lost their once mighty empire and will do anything to restore it. In their case, it seems to be very experimental. We have trolls trying to summon a water deity, possibly old god aligned as well. Trolls sacrificing captives to the Loa. Trolls breeding basilisks. Trolls raising the dead. This zone has very little story or thematic cohesion except to say, we will do whatever it takes to gain power, all at the same time if we have to. In the same way later troll dungeons slash raids like to divide themselves into starkly different thematic areas. Why do we want them dead? Trolls are always up to something shady. Maradon. We can divide this into two parts. The satyrs, elves who willingly turned themselves into demons during the War of the Ancients in the first half, and the servants of Princess Theodras, an earth elemental princess, in the second half. There is no reason to believe these two groups have related allegiances. They just shared different parts of the same area. The centaur race was born of the union of Theodras and Zetar a son of Centaurus, and immediately slew their own father when they realised he hated them. But Theodras had loved Zetar, and she created Mordon in his honour, but also against his will. She could not bear to lose him, as a mausoleum for his spirit, where to this day she guards the door to Teramok, that never seen cavern beyond her, that keeps Zetar forever bound to his prison of his soul. Why do we want them dead? The Centaur are the Horde's main competitors for control of central Kalimdor. Also Alliance, because the Night Elves have other plans for Desolus. Temple of Atal Hakar, a temple built to the troll Loa Hakar, to be used to resurrect him at the Prophecy's time. The Green Dragons invaded it, standing guard to prevent the prophecy from ever being fulfilled. Presumably Hakar's tendency to drain the life from anything living makes them obvious enemies. When the green dragons fell under the sway of Emerald Nightmare, the trolls found their chance to finally attempt a summoning. Why do we want them dead? Hakar is an evil, superpowered serpent god who could potentially unite all of the evil trolls into evil empire. Scholomance. Once a legitimate, Kirin Tor approved school of magic, at least because they weren't aware it was being used to sway young Kirin Tor to necromancy. This is exactly that, a school for necromancers, were the cult of the damned, the living who willingly serve the dead, a group founded by Kalthazad when he was still alive, trained their new recruits. Why do we want them dead? 
Let's keep to the kind of studies where our magic isn't made of the essence of tortured souls, shall we? Stratham. The ruined city of Stratham has become an ironic proxy war. While on the surface it appears to be divided between Scourge and Scarlet Crusade controlled areas, in reality it is divided between Scourge and the Burning Legion, who are using their Crusader puppets to take vengeance on the Scourge after the Lich King betrayed them in the Third War. The city is also a gateway to Naxxaramas above, the seat of all Scourge power in the Eastern Kingdoms. Why do we want them dead? I think because they want us dead applies here too. They started it. But to be more specific, we want to prepare for an attack on Naxxaramas to end the Lich King's power over the Eastern Kingdoms. Black Rock Depths, Lower Black Rock Spire, Upper Black Rock Spire, Molten Core. Ah, Black Rock Mountain, the granddaddy of all dungeons, sprawling in a way never seen before nor since. Black Rock Depth is the Dark Iron Capital, who have been enslaved by the Fire Elementals in Molten Core after one of their sorcerer thanes made the unwise decision to summon forth Ragnaros, thinking he could control him. Lower Black Rock Spire is where the Black Rock Orcs, the traditional inhabitants of the mountain, reside. They have fallen under the sway of the Black Dragonflight, led by Nefarion in Upper Black Rock Spire, who is doing experiments on how to create new viable eggs from other dragons' DNA. Black Rock Depth slash Molten Core and Black Rock Spire are enemies of each other. Despite both being our enemies, the Dwarves slash Fire Elementals and Orcs slash Dragons have been fighting each other for control of the mountain. Why do we want them dead? Well, the Black Dragon Flight is actively making hostile plans and interfering in governments. Ragnaros existing on Azeroth is just a generally bad idea. Elemental Lords do nothing but wreak havoc if we let them. Onyxia's Lair, the last fertile egg-laying dragon of the Black Dragon Flight who has been going extinct ever since Neltherion's corruption cursed them. She will protect her babies at any cost to see her dragonflight revived, while also moonlighting as a stormwind noble to make sure the Alliance stays weak and out of her way. Why do we want them dead? Those cute babies are your future village burners. So look into the cute little eyes and end them. So right out the bat, I would like to say a big thank you to Megan. Um, honestly, pronunciation for World of Warcraft characters and places is not the easiest and she does not play World of Warcraft at all. I tried to get her to play it once with me and she just couldn't give less of a fuck about it. But she could always enjoy her D&D, so that's the important bits, you know, I'd rather that. But look, uh, let us know what you thought down below. If you're playing Classic World, let me know. I'm currently playing on Zandor Tribe Slam. I've done a couple of live streams. I'm playing an Orc Warrior. I'm 48 at the minute, at the time of recording this. Let us know if you're also playing Classic World at the minute. I know a lot of you guys are. I'm really enjoying it. It's so good to have it back on. You know, some of my earliest videos on this channel was actually playing Classic Woe on private servers, you know, so it's kind of it's kind of funny that it came almost full circle now, you know. But hey, let us know what you think down below. I really enjoyed this. We light up by a Thildor. I thought it was really good. I really enjoyed it. I read the whole thing. I was like, balls, mate. This is cool as fuck. And, it, you know, it's not something that I would normally do on this channel, but I just enjoyed it that much. I kind of just had to, you know what I mean? So uh, thank you, Thildor, down below. You know, uh, links to his post and all that other good stuff. And I think I've kept you here long enough. And I'll see you in the next video.